don't get any of it. And because not enough follow it, people follow it, then you don't see a lot more of it popping up. But if you follow it to say, I don't like this, all it says is, oh, engagement. It counts engagement. So you get more of it because you engage with it. It's something we're hard, especially old people don't really understand. Old people on social media, media is menace. It always fascinates me how people of this day and age arms and gloves up with the government and at the same time expect the country to be run effectively. Never happening. Oh, God. We just got an email dictating a new dress code. No bright flashy colors. We have to dress up and only natural hair color. What? At work? Eek. But what's natural hair color, though? How do you determine what is natural hair color? So are they saying they don't have a problem with red hair if you grow it like that? Um, they don't have a problem with blonde hair if you grow it like that. But if you have blonde hair, you can't dye it red. And if you have red hair, you can't bleach it blonde. Is that what, what, what they're saying? So this has nothing to do with the actual color. But more so it has to do with controlling your behavior. Interesting. Interesting. Considering, considering the nature of your job and the purpose of your workplace. Very interesting. And you'd expect the exact opposite from. <laughs> it's supposed to only be hair color that people can grow. So, okay, so you could you could dye it red. Well, it's a start. It's, listen, Office of Soyinka, that is, that is something else. Well, that's better than Jamaica, actually. That's better than Jamaica. Because Jamaica... No reach the so yet where we allow you for do one color where other people can grow. There are still companies that have a problem with locks. HR will say cut it or wear a wig if you want to keep the job. It's humans are the stupid. Hey, I've said it a million times and I'm going to say it a million more times. Humans are the stupidest animals. I don't care how you feel about your humanity. You come from, I come from, we are the dumb animals on this planet i don't care what nobody want to feel we are stupid humans are stupid none of these social rules serve any purpose none my purple or pink shaved head is gonna stick <laughs> i know you what you got over there so now gonna rock the people in fucking boat kick over the apple cat and i love it <laughs> and i love it I don't get humans, though. I'm supposed to be one of them, but I don't get them. That's why sometimes I feel like maybe I'm an alien. Because I don't completely get us. Like, what what drives us? What is it that makes us want to... to what is it that makes us want to exert this kind of control and power over each other? If it won't prevent you from doing the job, I don't get it either. It's like we go back in time now. We I thought we were supposed to be evolving. But this is a retrogression, man. Why we want to rule each other? It don't make no sense. Happy humans, so good for live with. Oh, Jesus Christ, when people happy. When people happy, it's so good. It's so nice. It's so comfortable. I had a new client come in yesterday with pink and purple here. And she just completely relaxed when she saw me. Representation matters. Jesus. Jesus. So now you're supposed to go with dye your hair black so she can't come in and feel weird like, oh shit. Where did the hair go? Where did it go, George? Which way did it go? <laughs> it's a good feeling to be happy. Listen, Jenny, let me tell you something. You see many of the people where you see a try to suppress your happiness. These are people who never felt happy before. They don't feel happy in their own life. And it really pissed them off to see you. What they, what they want, actually, is to feel as happy as you. And they don't know how to do it. And nobody ever taught them to communicate effectively. To, they could have come to you and said, how do you do this? Can you show me how you do this? But they wouldn't do that. Better for squish you. I visited Jamaica in December. People them tell me that I can't come in the library because I'm wearing a shorts. Not God. Well, I have been told that if you want to make donations to the library now, the books cannot be 
published older than 10 years. I'm very afraid of that. It reeks, it reeks of manipulating history. It reeks. Why can't we donate books written older than 10 years? What is it we're trying to suppress? What information should we not be able to see the progression of? When did we outlaw progression? I'm hoping that this is incorrect. And by the way, if there's anybody here who can clear that up for me, please do. Is it, that, is it true that we cannot donate books which have been published older than 10 years? Is it true? Because if this is true, you need to... Be, there are some things happening right now in our world where we don't need to be fucking scared of. But it's so comfortable because you can go out yesterday, because you can go out yesterday and put on the little string and pull it up between your, your pussy jar and have the two jar them hang over the side and pretend say you're the soaker when really and truly you just do hang your pussy jar out the side. Um, who cares about a library book? May I go go to the road and may feel, may feel good in myself because I hang my pum pum jar them over the side of the mid jars. Who cares about a library book? And if you want to hang your pum pum over the side of your jars, be my guest, by all means. Be my guest. Walking on the road, skin out, girl. You feel riding on the road. Broke out on the line on the road. <laughs> be my guest. But while we're out there, do all of these things. We need to pay attention to the world that's being created for we're picking them for inherit. We're giving we're picking them some ras revolution for go fight, you see? Them have to go dig themselves back out of the hole where we are buried them in there. All of these little things where we are put in place where we are going like we're so proper. You know, proper, you know? You're creating a prison from which your children and grandchildren will have to escape. They will have to escape and them now go have the luxury. We now have the luxury of an intellectual revolution. We're picking them now to have that because we took we took our intellectual currency and used it to create one physical prison which our children will then have to violently fight war to escape. But you know, continue. I found the world you can do what you want with it. I did say I got left with alone and I didn't learn. Why I didn't shut my mouth? Because we'll go back to the joking. Because <laughs> we'll go back to the joking. They might try to erase, they had, but they already have been erased in the past. First of all, they might erase the present by consistently lying. When you hear the Minister of, Edu the Minister of Education come out and say we have one X amount of literacy pass, when you talk to the principal, then says a fucking liar, I don't know where she get them the data from because I know that we get to them. They, they not erase the, they, they have not erased the past, they might rewrite the history right now because them fuckers know that we talking here on Instagram will not be recorded anywhere. That is of significance, right? What they are saying is the only thing that's being recorded. And the journalists have failed us because they're not questioning anything. They're not doing investigative journalism. They're not look at the statistics and ask nothing. When I look at a man like Damon Crawford come out and talk, everybody just listen to him talk and say, yeah, yeah, I'm bright, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He might go talk. How that thing do him talk? And he's spitting all the facts and him breaking down the fucking lies and showing the correct information. And it's not being recorded anywhere that's going to matter. Because when the Prime Minister put out one, one, one release, a dot going to the books. When the Minister of Sitting put out one release, a dot going to the books. And unless PNP are going to come in and erase all of this and say, this was a lie, check back the stats, them are correct. We stuck with this forever. But and that you don't want, and that you don't get. You know, labor right. Show a labor right. Ring that blood clot bell. Pretty soon, the bell there going to mean something else. It definitely means you're not going to school because you don't even want to learn nothing. This is why I even doubt much of the history I was taught. You doubt if you doubt everything, I have a question, everything. But, them people are, them people are happy, you know. If you just sit down and you just tell them sitting and feed them, I think they would be happy to be on a line collecting their rations for the day. Because it means that they don't have to think, they don't have to put out no kind of effort at all and just shuffle from one foot to the next with a little plate and collect the slop and go eat it and then go give some joke 
and jump and click then heal and yes and massa. I think them would have happy with that. And who knows, maybe we can just bring back cotton while we're at it. If we're going to just collect with slop and sit down and eat, well, we're not have nothing to do for the rest of the day. So I think we should have probably can just go pick some cotton. What do you think? When the journalists ask questions, the people chastise them and label them as being politically biased. Yes. First of all, it started with Portia. When she never feel like answer no journalist, she just didn't. She cussed them around them and tell them things and the PNP was comfortable with it. Now we have Andrew, hybrid Portia. And he speaks well. So Uptown accept the fuckery because it comes in the language of them. And it's still fuckery. So Portia was the one who said, do I look like a loser to you? You know, them play back one best of Portia over there for me. When I really watch it to us. Me, me have to just laugh like, yo, this was a time, eh? This was a time, because that lady they did crazy, crazy. And only did love it, because it was entertainment. Never mind that this was precedent being set for the rest of your life, but it was entertaining precedent. So as long as you can sit and laugh about it, it didn't matter to you that it was actually creating an environment that you are going to be so uncomfortable with him and then andrew came along it's kind of like when they used um housing just money to do non-housing just things and when we say what the hell what the hell um don't do that you're setting a precedent oh shut up the pnp they make cuss me you know? oh shut up tanya everything the pnp does you have a problem with it every same like labor right now and they did. And the first thing when they labor it, then go in and dip up in housing trust money. Me say, ha <laughs> I hate to say I told you so, but I fucking did. I told you so. This is what I meant when I said, do not allow your people to do this because this is a precedent being set. And once this is done and the house has gone through the gate, you can't pull it back. See where you are? So, when you, when you did allow the arrogance, the nano man has the disrespect. And you come in and intern it in our system now. <laughs> From the first time when me see him with the little idiot boy we keep the love march movement when the boy asks about needs and he start reel up and trace. Only thing left for him for the door do the dirty wine like Portia and say no girl, no boy, no. But he was like, You think you care about Jamaica more than me? You think you care like, sir, this is not a care about Jamaica competition. You're employed to the people. The people have a right to ask. The people have a right to question your motives and your movements. These are movements and motives done on behalf of them. So they have the ultimate right to question it. And if it doesn't look clear to them, they should ask for clarity. This is their job as a citizen. And it is your obligation to clarify. But no, what me know? I studied journalism and when I saw the disregard, I was like, no, me now, okay, so you could have, you couldn't have no, you could have not no mind. You'd have junker mind. For you, for going to take up yourself, go to school and come and say, come work. For make them people are shit in the head top. Them people are not have no manners. But in truth, journalists serve no purpose if the people don't act in accordance to the scandals that journalists reveal. Really? First of all, a journalist, journalist's job for, for present, regardless of what the people do with it, a journalist's job for present. Right? Present all the facts. Present. And then... Let the people do what the people will do, but at least first present. But what we have is an exclusion of facts. So the people that make up them, own, them make their own facts. Jesus, them make their own facts. And when you question it, them have a battalion of people. Where at, then tell me, say they have one, one task force, which is just for social media. Where you ever notice, say, try go up on one of the, one of the news, news page them. And, and question, just question. The Prime Minister action or any minister them question the JLP and see what happened to you. You're gonna see a swarm of very dunce people run in for you and start telling you figure suck your mother and tell us you're all big and tell us everything except for respond to the facts. And then I'm gonna tell you repeatedly like the trained sheep from Animal Farm. Andrew Holness is the best Prime Minister ever. Andrew Holness is the best Prime Minister ever. Andrew Holness is the... This is what you're gonna get. Between the cousins about your all, 
and you know the negative things about your personality that they don't know then they're gonna tell you say android the best thing since sliced bread like somebody they drill it into them or like them put it in their head in a one chip and that's all you're going to get they they have one task force apparently that's what i've heard that they have one task force charged with the sole purpose of coming upon social media come bro bro beat you into singing the praises of this feeling man that is it now if me so good me no need listen anybody where really follow my music and follow me no so you're not allowed because for my behalf you're not allowed because nobody for my behalf me not allow that me no need you for fight my wars for me i don't need you to if you know one fact with somebody uh, uh, ask you then state the fact if then tell you say me did the over the so and you know somebody over the so then it's okay if you say well i was there and she was actually over there that's fine but for them say my old big guy you come to contact the man and you are going to tell them say for them all be i don't even want to listen to my music if i don't tell you i don't no want no defense from you with in a them the old nigga style i don't want that I don't want me not have no army, me not have no, no followers or name after me. Because a music me make. Me not have no kind of group. Me not, um, me not have no, no cult. And me not want no cult. Me make music, and if you like my music, then me invite you to listen to it. And if you don't like my music, then you go listen to whichever music you like. But members say me and you not have no army. No kind of army. Me and you not have nothing. We can have discussions, but me not want a fanatic. We're incapable of independent thought to the point where any fucking thing come out of my mouth, you go to so go defend it. Me don't want that. Left me alone. If I saw no listen music these days, then no fucking listen to mine. Go listen to somebody else one who need that. Because I don't need that. Right? And if this I kind of prime minister where we have, where every time him talk, him need to have one swarm of a gingy fly, pitch from people, if he say, you can't ask no question, why am I going to serve you and be above reproach? Why? What other reason me could I have except seminar perform within my capacity? What other reason me could I have? If me above reproach, if, if, if my work is actually unquestionable, then me no need to be above reproach. The only reason why me can need one task force dedicated to defending my name out of the road is because my name is shit. It's because me know say me a shit. And that would be the only reason why me need to have one bunch of goons out there so to defend my honor. Only reason why me da need some goons to defend my honor because I have no honor. That's the only reason why me could have need them. So, if we Prime Minister to perform up to in standard when supposed to be, if me even now, I hit a halfway mark, he wouldn't need to have a bunch of people on social media every time when you say, but didn't the Prime Minister say X? They're running. He can't say anything he want. Like, what the fuck? Where we live in now? When people say we live in our dictatorship, in vex. But then when you say anything, we question him. In people, him swam down by you. But that's the very definition of a dictatorship, sir. Like, what you want? Make up your mind what you want. Let me tell you something, you see? Every rest of my life, for regret every single time. Me mark that X against the belly. The rest of my life, regret that bomber cloth. And regret it, I shall. Until this fucker you're gone. And one time, me did say, the PNP would never be an option for me until Porsche the day. And them tell me, say, well, yeah, well, suck it up, buttercup, because you're going to have to live. I see Porsche gone there. Eh? I'm a vote PNP, what do you? See there? And you got to. I'm even going to vote Labour right again. When somebody else comes in with like a fucking humility. Humility. And actually understand that I'm a public servant and want to do the work. It's a job. You haven't become bro God. You're not a God. Can you imagine in hijack the little dance all youth name in slang and take it for himself and then say nobody enough to make music like that? What a piece of shit. Well, anyone who loves music enough will naturally separate the artist from the music and love each at different degrees. My favorite artist is not the one that sang my favorite song. True, because my favorite song of all time in all the world is Tracks of My Tears by Smokey Robinson. And my favorite artist of all time is John Lennon. That didn't make my favorite song. Smokey isn't my favorite artist. 
But you're right. You're right. And then me listen to things from everybody. Me have the capacity to listen to every artist. Like, I'm in a, in a, in a move in the house with them. I'm in a, one, in a relationship. I'm in a one know them personally. I don't feel like I don't feel like said them know that me listen to their music, them belong to me. I don't feel like no way me a part of their life or them a part of mine. I don't feel like me listen to their music and somehow them for reciprocate by becoming mini me. But it's so weird. Like, I don't know. Making music is great, but being in the music industry is so weird. It is so weird. Like, People genuinely expect you to agree with every single one of them. So in order for me to have a hit song, I have, have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people I like the song. And then each single individual one expect me to agree with them. Like how oh, I can split myself into this millions of pieces for a piece every single person will listen to my song. You have to understand some is, you, you like my song. You don't necessarily have to like me. You don't have to like my song either. But if you like the song, you have to understand that that not come with nothing else. You're not, you're not opting to, you have not the option for opting to nothing. I always tell people I don't give a fuck about what go on with Spice Panda show. They only come to me about the music. Listen, man. Listen, people get so personal. But I think artists kind of help for make that happen because then people start do. What about those two artists that move you? What do you mean? People start let people in on them personal life. Like, yeah, me we go live and talk to them about personal things, but only in my personal life. I've never shared any information from my private life. I, I don't. You never see me come out and tell us, I'm not doing that. Smart day. I'll show you that. I said, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not doing that because this is irrelevant to our relationship. We don't have an intimate relationship. Our relationship is public and not having any privacy at all or intimacy. So, you don't need to know nothing from a personal life. And that's why I'm not share nothing from a personal life. When we talk about crimes were committed against me, that is national business. We have a crime-ridden country. And we need to figure out how to fix that. So, this is of importance to all of us. This is not my private business when I share. Crime no private. And then outside of that, think about what I've ever shared that was private. I'm not sure not more private. Talk about getting old. Every boy, if you know, if you know when me born, me, me buy a in my birth date. So I don't know. So I'm 50, that's not private. I mean, I hide my age. Turning 50 is. Why do I like Smokey and John Legend? I didn't say John Legend. John Lennon. Lennon. <laughs> John Legend, John Legend sings on love song, brother. Yeah, whole people sing on love song. I mean, I did sing. I'm gonna care, care if it's on love song. John Lennon sing. Go listen to him catalog. First of all, listen to one song named God. Listen to one song named God. God is a concept by which we measure our pain. Go listen to that song, God. And you will understand. Um... Smokey Robinson, Smokey Robinson, right? Me one writer. I'm a one literature student. Smokey Robinson embody that. Smokey Robinson, right? About pain and heartbreak, emotion, in a one way way. Manage for, it managed for capture feelings into words where very few people can. Like, in, in really, in really master the art of telling a heartbreak and at the time when me fall in love with Smokey Robinson music I was a very heartbroken child I was just I was just melancholy and he speak to every cell every fiber in my being my ball with him my ball with him the answer is blowing in the window big you but, but hey, Smokey Robinson, that man who used to just lie down on the rock back of my sister's house and listen to him and sing and ball, you know. Just ball, 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 ball. My sister used to call me Tom, Tom Jones and Tom Dooley. I don't know why she called me Tom Jones. I never used to listen to Tom Jones. And Tom Jones sound quite upbeat. 
As Tom Jones and the man was saying, it's not unusual to be loved by one. No, 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 no. He sounds unhappy. What? You no, pussycat? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He didn't sound happy. He never sound particularly sad. Like, he don't hear that. Him, him overall, him overtone to me was upbeat. Smokey Robinson was a heartbroken motherfucker. And I could relate to him. Because me did always broken heart. One thing or another. My mother never do this. My brother never do that. Me, me did just... When me look back on myself like, little girl, what did wrong with you? <laughs> and then me used to use laughter as me. As my little. Used to feel like my heart broken and me never have nobody. Why you did feel so though, Keisha? Me used to feel so too, you know. But me have enough sibling. I'm the sixth of seven. Sir Tom Jones are the G. Me no know. Me did have enough sibling, but me and it with... Why me and some of them couldn't get along at all? And me did just feel like... Me never feel understood. Me never feel like my fit. That is it. Me never feel like my fit. But feel like all of my ideas, they run contrary to my environment, to my family. I think the way we play the music, then the music plays us. Me, me feel like me did relate to Smokey because he made a cry. And me did cry too. And he did keep me company a cry. And then me did feel like me never saw alone. And me, it was like therapy. And me just, me did just love him. Because he understand. Kill me dead, he understand. He know me. And even though I'm a ball about heartbreak, about woman heartbreak, and me never have no relationship or a ball about no boy, he did just feel like Pain is just pain and tears are just tears and it throw away a ball and throw away in a pain and it's a smoky and my boy. But Lennon it made me think past all of that. Lennon made me Lennon it made me feel like me not that weird. Plus Smokey the cute. Talk to me, girl, Smokey the cute. Me did have a crush on Smokey from me about 10 years old. Really fucking disgusting. But I did. Um it wasn't a sexual crush. It was very emotional though. Like yeah. As a big man, I try my best to stay far from meeting Smokey because we couldn't need guarantee so I mean, I'll be one group. Um Lennon no, Lennon is a man who make me think. Lennon go up and crawl up in a cranium man. Lennon I like people who make me think. I like people who introduce one new thought. Introduce me to one new thought where actually groundbreaking. Not just something where sound like it's supposed to. Hello, Tanya, it's Rara. I know say you man, I've been out tonight and I had a good time. I just got home and I'm feeling exhausted. I'm eating cake. Eating cake and smoking spliff when you feel exhausted. So you're tired and what you choose for do is give your body more work for do for digest food. Where you not go sleep? Drink some water and go sleep, Rara. I make your body get arrested and then wake up in the morning and eat the cake. When you're rested, Jesus, little girl, why you walk out your body like this? But for zero, I know what time in England now. Bumble great. You're late, bad man. And I eat cake in my glass night. Why I do this? And then I know my business. I mean, I have no right to tell you what to do with yourself. So I take back all of that. <laughs> Get myself, you know. I take back all of that here. I apologize. Eat a cake. Feel good. Feeling good is important. But Lennon, I really love Simon and Garfunkel too. The sound of silence. The sound of silence. One time I nearly get kicked out of my apartment at Stockholm where I live because I beat the sound of silence. Lord, no bomb cloud. The sound. And I say, irony. When the when neighbor come over, come bang on the door. And I talk a bag of Swedish and me don't know what I'm saying. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I turn it down and I'm I'm sorry, I don't understand. And I don't understand. And the man is like, yeah, out of here. Out of here. And he read and he looked like he might have a stroke. And I want to help him. And I want to sir, please, 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 just calm down. I can't afford for me to have a heart attack over me and my music. I'm sorry. I'm not used to living in an apartment. I've never lived in an apartment before. I don't remember saying my wall is next to your wall. I'm really sorry, sir. I didn't know Patwan. I didn't understand my English. And all he must say is, out of here, out of here. And me, I say, sorry, me swear, me sorry. <laughs> Sound of silence. Actually, before that, me that play Cheryl Crow. 
it's hard to take a stand it's hard to take stand yeah that is load that 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 not that not translate well load yeah you know translate load well i had never given thought to religion's impact till i listened to preacher man by jana and i was like whoa nice But the sound of silence nearly get me kicked out. <laughs> kicked out of an apartment and that did really encroaching. But coming from Jamaica, do I listen to Nina Simone? Yes. Some. Coming from Jamaica though, you take a lot of things for granted like noise. Jamaica is very loud. Jamaica is very noisy. And Jamaica, Jamaican people, me think, I suffer from noise pollution. Neo Oxford, stop shout, big woman at me. But feel like all we need for just take all one one week and just go lie down in a complete silence. Go lie down under one tree and breathe some fresh air and just not talk or not listen to nothing and so on. You realize that Jamaican people can't handle silence? Then they, they walk with the music loud. Then play them car music loud. If I want bicycle it off and want to speak up on it. They're not, they're not like silence at all. You just say we're noisy, so may I show it. But wouldn't that be the reason why you, you whisper? For prove me wrong? Or at least for learn? But we love noise. We string up sound box next to sound box next to sound box. Have I listened to Strange Fruits from Nina Simone? How would I not listen to Strange Fruit from Nina Simone? Of course. And she has influenced a lot of current artists. Or all women are four women. Why? Nigos, I fi say greetings, legendary big youth. Manners are respecting. Yeah. Manners are respect every time. Big youth is a legend. Or all women are four women. I'm not sure what that is connected to. Jamar. The all women, four women comment. Noise is a part of our personality. No, it's not. No, it is not. Noise is a, it's one of the habit them we have, and we, and we decide we habit them. And we can let it go anytime we want. Now we're too noisy, we loud, bad man. And it, and, it, and it actually make we get desensitized to the noise now, so it takes so much more for entertain. You know, I don't know if you entertain. We know how to entertain, you know? Curfew made me realize that the amount of noise that was customary. Yeah, man, like a silence. Like, me don't want nobody to force me and, uh, 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 and yes, big youth say every negus is a star. You see that? Big up yourself. I believe in positive thoughts and how we think about things, etc. But life's a roller coaster and it's so different from the old days. I feel sad for the youngsters today. And there's a lot of new drugs. And you know, so I don't really feel so sad for the, the kids. All women are four women. Is a song by any. Oh, I don't know that one. I don't feel so sad. I don't feel so sad for the. I don't feel so sad for the kids today because I don't think that they're missing what we had. They're not missing it because they don't know it. They only know what they have. So it's not Jamaican artist unity without the politics. You know, no, you know, Samosa so will live real good, but people not highlight the good things. They only highlight the bad, so it looks like a always war, but it's not always war. Most artists get along fine. Yeah. Most a lot of people don't know when to stop and get drunk and have no memory. Um, here's the thing now for, for me with the young kids, every era feels like the them of the good old days. And then, if my mother's days was the good old days, and then my days was the good old days, then my daughter's days are the good old days too. And then, fear pretty days are good old days because apparently everybody did a good old day for them. So my, my daughter don't know my days. And I me learn that me learn that um yes, Rara, that is something that I actually said way back, take it way back to Marvin Gay way back. But that is me being my mother. And if I am honest and unbiased, then may I go admit say. Me personally feel like my days was but well that wasn't even my days. Marvin Gaye, way back and Otis Redding and them, was more my mother's days. And I adopted those days because I like them. 
But the reality is that time is not going to reverse and it's not going to stand still. So the days that you love were gone, they never come back. Now reverse. And the day today, if you love today, just know say enjoy it today because tomorrow you never go see it. Tomorrow or tomorrow. So me not believe say the kids never miss nothing. Because for one, my daughter don't miss. My daughter don't miss playing jacks, jacks or marbles. She don't know them shit there. She don't have no clue where them they be. She never learned them. She don't miss. I use the 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 um elastic band, a bong span the wall. We used to play what that name? We never know a name, bong span wall. For for try and capture other people, elastic band for for as a gambling game for kids. She never played that. She never skip much. She don't know Chinese skip. She she never play baseball with orange box because me said I go prep school and they never make their own box. They made of toys. Um and so we can we can climb on a high horse all we want and pretend say we did have the best days. You know bat and ball. You know bat and ball, but your grandkids don't know them. They don't care. They don't want to play none of that. You know? We can pretend say we did have the best day. But the truth is, every day is somebody else's best day. So the best thing we can do is enjoy for we day them. And then we share it with the kids. We tell them what our day had in it and and we, we we give them a little love and respect for for them day edmonton april 27th tanya yes but i know that may go live but we, we just a chat yeah man edmonton april 27th i will see you then but back to what we talk about with the good old days and all of that um we have to learn for respect each other so just like how my demand say so the pick them respect my thing may i go respect for them thing may i go understand say Maybe me used to. Who hear from Edmonton? Scroll up and you see. Miss Legendary. You there, Edmonton to office of Soinka? So, Edmonton people, I'm going to hijack my life. Me almost done anyway. Me soon come out. Um, but though, um, Rara, if you're not gone yet, look on it a little bit. Try to look on it different. Because your day different from my day different from with picnic day different. Everybody day different. And each day has its own merits. So we, we have to start learning to respect each other's space. Because it's not that everything about our day did great neither. Our, our day, in our day when people used to get abused and shut up about it, you know. Them days are when them picnic and scream blue murder because they not take it, they refuse to take it. So come on, at least there are improvements. There are some improvements. There, yes, some new drugs come out, but drugs in the back in a full time too. And some people from our era took them. And it never to work out so well for them. We know we, we, we know of people who died from overdoses. We never did 100% um, perfect. We never perfect according to the, the, the rules of society. We get trouble too. We did get trouble too. Some people shoplift. Some people. There are so many things that kids back in in our time did I do, where some of our kids don't do. You know, and it kind of it kind of kill credibility. When when we try preach at them, especially when you 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 have a bunch of kids, different father, and then you try to tell your people say them not you have sex out of wedlock or they not you have sex and they not you have kids. Like it it, it make we look incredible. You know, when you say don't take drugs and then you look back in the past and then realize, say, hey, who are your friend are the junkie? It, it, it makes we look incredible. Have real honest conversations with them and try to show them maybe the, the dangers. Show them the pros and the cons of every action and, make, and, and, and engage them like intelligent humans and see how well they can make the choice because they, they, they're smarter than we give them credit for. So make we know. We could not just knock the day here, so. Um, me go to uh, young people party where they uh, stay on the outskirts. I mean, they enjoy myself. And there was no incident. No fight, no broke out, no nothing like that. No. Back in my time, ooh, child, you remember Sting? You remember when you used to fling buckle and bust up one in the head? 
And people are left France in the hospital. You remember that? And them there in a good old days too, you know. Come on, man, we couldn't do this. We don't want to do this to do. We don't want to lie. We don't like lying, you know, feel good. Lying no resonate good in my body. We don't like it. We don't like that feel. So we're going to just be honest. And anyways, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. And I'm feeling a lot better. And I hope you guys are feeling good too. And I will see you somewhere soon. Me the panero a lot. Um, this weekend me there. Turks. And as you see them, I talk about Edmonton. Edmonton at the end of the month. Yeah, so in case I'm see you at Edmonton at the end of the month, right? Guys, me really appreciate and love and thank you for your company. And my hopes when I start read stories to Pitney and Grand Pitney and Nisa and every them already. And when I want to start help me read the story them and I tell a lot of can come on live with me and come, 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 come read. You don't have to accept adapt changes. Yes. You know if you accept it. But just them them are gonna do for them thing and we are gonna do for it thing. Alright. So me enjoy myself. Me enjoy the conversation and I may go cut and go on my bed now. My bedtime gone, no, me all the money. I go watch me, me look at, um, what's it called, the Sex and the City spinner? And just like that. I go watch and just like that and go on my bed. I hope I have a really, really good night. I hope I get enough hugs and kisses and hope you have a little spoon. A little spoon is so good. All right, see you tomorrow.